Docker Size 2. We begin by going to File, New, to bring up our model. Let me arrange my screen here with my Concept Explorer up and my Object Info in the corner. Now I can begin. We're going to make a Revolve feature, somewhat like a, a wheel. And what we start off with here is we'll start off with the multi-line tool. Now what we do is we're actually going to, there's going to be a hole in the wheel, so we're actually going to start a little bit of a distance away from the center here. And so uh, we'll go ahead and just click and drag it straight up. And the, the height of this will be approximately one inch. Click again, drag this to the left. And this line will be uh, approximately a point a quarter inch. And then draw an angle. And the angle on this will just click. And then we could insert an angle, which will be 260 degrees. And then continue on with the line. Approximately another. Uh, inch and a half or so. Drag it straight up. Click again. Drag this out a quarter of an inch. And then get it down to the bottom here. Alright, the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to mirror this to the other side down below or horizontally across. Inside here we have several tools on this toolbar over here, and one of them is the mirror tool. Select the mirror tool. First thing it suggests you do is select the objects to mirror, and then select the start of the reference line. So we'll click from here to here. Now you might notice that it actually just moved it to one side. Let's hit undo and try that again, but let's read next time. So shift to add, remove selections, or control for copy. So what we want to do here is actually hold the control key down through the process of selecting where to mirror. So we'll click on this point to this point, and it makes a copy for us. The next thing we want to do is draw a line at the origin, just drag it up vertically, just like that. Now you'll see that there's functionality in here to stretch and extend lines and change them. If you just click and drag over a group of them, you could do a lot of different things. You could grab and stretch and flex this and it all stays together. Okay. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and revolve this. So over here, um, we want to click on this little icon here you'll see the revolve feature. It's called lathe solid. Select that and then group select by clicking and dragging a fence surrounding the geometry you want to lathe and then select the line for the axis which is the one we drew right here, the vertical line on the origin. Now you can see we have a, a solid here and let's proceed to put some fillets on. So we could go to the Fillet tool, go to Blend, and we'll put some small radii on here, uh, uh, 0 0.1, 100 thousandths. And you could either select an entire face or just an edge. If you select the whole face, everything gets filleted. If you select an edge, just the one thing you select get filled, one thing you select gets filleted. Or you could hold the control key and select multiple edges. Or the shift key. Actually. That's the shift key. And that concludes Lesson 2.